Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, this is episode one of my vlog. Um, my name's Roslyn, um, I'm a witch in the southwest of Scotland. Now we've moved into a little cottage, it's about 200 year old, and I've got a gorgeous country cottage garden, which you're joining me in today. We're sitting at the pond, um, which I would love to show you, but I've my phone keeps running out of memory and I have to keep restarting so I'm gonna have to be really quick so I apologize if you haven't a flipping clue what I've just said um, I do have a strong accent which is slightly Scottish sli slightly Irish um, reason for that is because I live in the southwest Scotland and Northern Ireland is just there I also have a ton of relatives that um, are either Irish or Scottish so I've got a very strong Celtic history, I would say. Um, I trace my family were right, right, right back to medieval times. And um, yep, they're still pretty much in, <laughs> in the southwest of Scotland. Um, they've not moved at all. Um, go around in circles and just move houses, but we still have always lived on the same patch of land, really. Um, which is really cool in some ways. I apologise in advance for the racket of birds. This is why I keep also reshooting. We've had 300 crows go by, an aeroplane, starlings, a boat, a bull so far. So I have to keep redoing takes to try and beat the noise. And I'm now wearing a mic so you can actually hear me. Um, I've also got two cats just to the left of, or the right, depending on how you are, uh, of the camera there who are about to pick fights with each other, so we'll probably get them as well. And we've also got bees goodling about as well. Um, so that's just part of the joy of having a gorgeous garden. It's shared by many. Um, so, what's my blog to be about? Or vlog, video blog, vlog. Um, witchcraft and paganism, I suppose. Um, there's millions and thousands of those already out there, um, I'm sure. But why not just add one more to the pile? I'm not a writer, I'm nothing special, I don't look glamorous witch, I don't have, I don't know, a house that's full of five million gemstones. Um, I don't have any degrees in new age kind of stuff. Um, I'm just me doing my thing. I've, always just been like that since I was a little girl just always just done my own thing followed my own path and it turns out it's a form of witchcraft who knew um, so I suppose that slots me into the umbrella category of traditional witch I guess um, but I would say right now in my journey I'm in the process of kind of come to a crossroads at the moment where I've kind of had a reawakening um, there's been a major changes happened in my life last year and it's opened up so many more doors and my spirituality side has just flourished and I suppose as I'm embracing that and putting that in place that's the need for this blog for me I wanted to record that and personally I don't actually even care if one person watches this it's my my journey and I want to record it I'm not really looking for anybody's um, approval of it I suppose it's how I do things but I'm quite open to sharing because I want other people to see my journey I guess and share with me their experiences maybe and we can learn together because being a solitary witch has its isolation problems because I'm not part of a coven um, oh hello Mr. B <laughs> he's a man he's a fox love lovely so yeah, this is our journey together, I suppose, if you want to put it like that. So feel free to do your own little vlogs or comments or whatever, sharing your journeys with me, because I'd love to hear them. Um, I'm always open-minded to learn from others. Um, I'm engaged in a few groups on Facebook as it is, on the witchy path or the magical path. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm always up for learning and listening. Uh, to others but everybody's journey is different and I suppose that's why I don't mind doing my own vlog because my journey is not going to be the same as somebody else's journey and 
I just wanted to share how I do it because I don't really go over the top I suppose with lots of stuff sorry it's a butterfly just there and I'm getting distracted again so um yeah I, I don't really believe in going to the vast expense of buying tons of stuff um, I just kind of have a more relaxed approach but I suppose I probably should really pull my socks up and be a bit more um, of a stickler with the correspondences I just I got to confess I don't um, I just if I cast I cast um, I suppose that's the joy of also being part of Sea Witch as it depends whether the tides coming in or out that day I can count that I suppose it's almost like the same way of a the ebbing and flowing of the moon um, from new cycle to full. Um, tide comes in, tide goes out, and you've got twice a day at that. So for me, there's always an opportunity for magic. There's never a need to have to wait till this planet aligns with that star on this moon cycle with all this shit of, I don't know, oh God, I was going to say junk, but it's not junk. There's gemstones and there's herbs, and they do give that extra oomph to a spell I'm not gonna lie they do and they do work but you don't need them you can cast your spell with just that and just what's in here and just what's in here so um yeah but you can also let live your life witchy um and do things that are everyday witchiness and that's what I also wanted to share because there's thousands of books out there that tell you how to cast spells and what to do and all the correspondences and what you should or shouldn't follow and I'm not going to preach to you or try and teach you anything new I just want to share with you what I'm up to and you can feel free to pop along and stalk my world or ask questions or tell me you want me to do a vlog about something that you might want to see my viewpoint on just because I don't really mind that's what we're there for so Anyway, I just want to say thanks for popping by um, and hope my introduction wasn't far so long and I hope my phone hasn't just decided, no, you're full of memory, we're not going to record it anymore and that you actually understood what I just said because I do know I have a very strong accent. So anyway, thanks very much for stopping by. Bless be, honeys. Bye.